Hello and thank you for joining me on another episode of The Average EV. Today, I have a confession to make. I may have been wrong about level one charging. Let's get into it. Now, if you've watched my videos for any amount of time, you'll know that I've always been a big proponent of level two charging at home if you can do it. Um, it's just way faster, way more convenient, and way better as far as you know not wasting your time. Uh, and so I've always recommended that. And I've had some commenters in the past talk about, well, um, you know, level one's good enough for me. I really don't need level two. And so, I sat on that and I thought about it. And so what I ended up doing was a little bit of an experiment where I just lived with just level one charging with my car. Now it was a little bit out of necessity because right now we have a level two charger uh, and it was great for when I had my Kona, but now uh, my wife has her ID4, I have my Kona and we have to charge two EVs at the same time. So I usually park outside and I level one charge uh, and uh, I'm gonna be honest, it's worked out for us. Um, I'm not saying that level one charging is for everyone. It's obviously way slower than level two charging, but for the right use case, for the right amount of driving, it might be for you. So I'm just gonna walk a couple of statements I've made back a little bit. Before I do, please remember to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh, please share this with your friends, family, whoever, to help grow the channel. Uh, we've been growing the channel pretty quick lately and I'm really pleased with it and I hope uh, we can grow it even more so that I can bring bigger and better content to you all. So let's dig into it a little bit. So back in the day, almost every EV came with some kind of charging equipment. Now some do, some don't. The ID4 didn't, uh, but my Kona did when I got the, uh, when I got it, it came with some charging equipment and it would charge my Kona at 1.3 kilowatts. Uh, basically really, really, really slow. Uh, and I used it as long as I had to. And then when I was able to get some level two equipment, I plugged into my dryer outlet. And then that's what I've kind of used to charge uh, my vehicle and now my wife's vehicle. Back then I was really, really big and into level two charging. I still am, if you can, I still think you should, but I don't think everyone has to have level two charging. So um, like I said in the little, uh, a little bit before, um, I have been using uh, level one charging on the daily and I've just wanted to see if it would work, if it would ever be inconvenient for me and, and whatnot. So here's kind of the details of my situation uh, and maybe it's similar to your situation or maybe it's not as far as your situation or maybe it's further than your situation and it'll help you have a better idea of whether you should do level one or level two charging at home. So I drive about 40 miles a day and with the Kona that amounts to about like 15%. So I almost always come home like 65%, maybe 63 some days, maybe on a good day, 68, 69%, something like that. But usually about 15%, um, which is, you know, not too bad. Uh, so when I ran the numbers, when I would uh, plug my car in with the, the level one, I would actually be able to charge it by the time I woke up in the morning, so long as I plugged in as soon as I got home. Uh, so, and usually I needed about eight hours, six to eight hours to charge um, my vehicle. So uh, I've been doing it and it's actually been working really great for me and for our current um, kind of EV flow, if you will, of charging uh, at our house. Um, now I will admit, um, I bought a level two charger that is a 16 amp, not a 12 amp. A lot of um, level one equipment that comes with cars is 12 amp. Um, at least the Kona's was 12 amp. I upgraded to the 16 amp and that added about 0.4 kilowatt hours, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's actually a big deal. That's almost 33% increase in charging speed. Um, so I did that and that actually helped cut down the time. So if you're like me, 40 miles or less, or maybe even a little bit more, um, basically you can just kind of calculate out. Okay, so I need this, I drive this much, I'll need this long to drive, uh, so I'll need this long to charge to get what I need to drive the next day. And again, I charge 80%. Um, can it work for me? And uh, if you leave it down in the comments, I'll help you all figure out your situation, see if you should stick with level one, or maybe it's worth getting level two. Um, now, if you drive 
you know, at least like double or or more than what I do, I, you should probably get level two to make your life a lot more convenient. Um, but if uh, you drive 40 miles, I think level one might be the way to go. It's the most cost effective because um, either you can get uh, level one charging equipment from like 100 to 200 bucks, or maybe your car came with it and you don't have to pay anything and all you have to do is plug it in. And um, charging at home is generally cheaper. Uh, so yeah, I was wrong, everybody. Uh, who, who, who'd have thought? So again, uh, those use cases are just um, uh, where people have to uh, only drive 40 miles. It's perfect for you all. And I, I was wrong and I, I admit it. And, and here we are on, on film for you all to hear that from me. So uh, a couple of things, if you all could in the comments down below, do you level one charge? Do you level two charge? Can you charge at home? Or do you live in an apartment complex or somewhere else where you can't charge and you have to charge uh, in the wild? Leave that down below. Um, also, if you have a level one equipment, is yours uh, 12 amp or 16 amp? Um, if you don't know what that means, it doesn't matter. Uh, but if you do, I'd, I'd love to hear and uh, kind of what your charging experience is. I know that the 16 amp definitely has been a little bit of an edge and made it um, a better option for us at our house. Uh, again, that's kind of all I have. This is a little little confession, a little experiment I did to kind of prove some of the viewers right uh, who, who've been watching. So again, thank you for watching. Uh, if you could, please give a like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Everything you do helps me grow the channel and I'm very appreciative. Thanks again and I'll catch you all next time.